Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using a mod called the Gates of Versailles. Well, it says, welcome to a world where Napoleon and his descendants continue to be the emperor of the French. The Battle of Trafalgar, Trafalgar in 1805 ended in a stalemate, giving Napoleon more confidence in his Spanish allies and preventing the Peninsular War. The Russian invasion failed just as much as it did in our timeline, but France still had armies in reserve, so a peace treaty was signed in 1813, ending the European theater of the Napoleonic Wars. The damn team is tremendously grateful that you're playing our mod. A lot of coding, painting, and writing has gone into this project, and we're continuously working on making more content. Now, train your divisions, build your factories, and change your world. No problem. What's the overall lore? I guess, um, if you want to read about the lore, please go right ahead. And then, who are you guys? Uh, you can join the Discord server. Uh, if you want to check out the mod for yourself, it'll be the first link in the description below. Lore is for nerds. Give me my game. And here we are. So we're playing as Prussia to see what it's like. We're conservative democracy. And we're trying to create the OKR. So, the creation of the Oberkommando der Reichswehr, or the command of the realm's defense, are the first steps toward creating a strong and independent Germany. If we manage to establish dominance over the other German states, we will be able to unite Germany into one. The Marines, uh, or the hair. What's the hair? Uh, the army is critical to the survival of not only Prussia, but Germany as a whole. If we fail, everyone falls. We're not an absolute monarchy. We are parliamentary democracy, the Reichstag, and a sibling's house, the Reichsrat, as a legislative body made of representatives from across the nation gathered in the Reichstag building in Berlin. They make the decisions for a country, and while the Reichskanzler can do a lot of things on his own, they do not rule with absolute power. For anything to get done, we must insult the Reichstag, coerce them, control them. Current power is 15%. Yeah, we just created the OKR. They have Luftwaffe. Oh, I actually, I've not even looked at any of this stuff. So we have other stuff down here. We have Germany on the world stage. But due to that, we need the dream of Pan-Germania. So, uh, well, apparently we're going to have elections sometime. Um, revitalize the Prussian military industrial complex. Revitalize German steel. We really need an election to have so we can do all this stuff. So, the have. Actually, we have 208 political power. What do we have here? Uh, Prussian mobilization wouldn't be bad. Uh, who do we have? Von Papen. Luther. Cortius. Scholz, huh? Well, we have no chief of the army, which probably really sucks. Chief of the navy. Reconnaissance. Looks like we don't have a lot of guys here. Well, alright. We'll do the best we can. Um, I guess regarding political power. We'll use whatever we can, and uh, land doctrine, mobile warfare. I guess we have to go mobile warfare. More speed's nice. Ooh, atta infantry attack and defense. Mobile, more, mobile, more, 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 and more mobile warfare. Uh, new equipment, old and reliable. Meet with the companies that produce regular, irregular arms and artillery, like Rhein Metal and Mauser arms contracts. Or new and exciting. Produce tanks and mechanized units like Porsche and Dalmor Benz. Mass production, mechanization. Well. Let's go create the Albert. Stone foreign elements and even domestic elements wish to see the destruction and dissolution of Prussia. And as a consequence, Germany we must be able to prevent the uh, stealthily sabotage of our future Reich. So, oh, we have effects here. Give a speech. Increase the support by quite a bit. Ooh, I don't want to lose ability. Compromise with opposition. Oh, God, no. Direct to members of parliament. Highly risky. Organize protests. We'll get more stability. But you lose, you lose weekly stability. That's not worth it. We organize. Protests against the opposition, maybe put in public opinion against them, consolidate power. So it gives any extra support in the Reichs, I'll to take future actions. Lose consumer goods, but you get ultimately 75 more political power. Work with the Reichs rat, huh? Working with other houses, the problem will give us a good advantage with the Reichs rat, increases Reichs rat support by 10%. Um, well, I guess we could lobby them for 3%, 5%, you get 5% more. 10% is okay. 15 is not bad. 12% is not bad. Let's do that one, and let's do the one that gives us more political power. Because right now we have 13 and a little, which is overall not bad. President Curtis has a heart attack. So who's leading who? So you're led by Charles I, Emperor of the French Empire, Prime Minister of the French Empire. UK is led by nobody, and uh, Archibald Sinclair. We got America here led by Herbert Hoover and Barclay now. Uh, American West Africa, Southwest Africa. What happened? Oh my god. Baja, California? August in a second, huh? Alta, California. Nut, nut, care. Landing strip to the Empire. Tejas. That's wrong. Wrong. The Mexican Empire. Okay. The French Empire is still down here. The Spanish Empire still exists, huh? Alfonso Carlos I. United Kingdom. Congo Free State. Oh, kind of handsome over here. Um, oh, oh, they're a Swedish puppet. Okay. 
Now, you know, Portugal and Brazil. Well, do they? What up, Portugal and Brazil? But Alfonso the Carlos the first, Enrique. Alfonso Carl Carlos the first versus Alfonso. Oh, this is awkward and weird. Wow. Per oh God. Uh, the Luftwaffe. Work in progress. All right then. Uh, I guess we want more support, so we'll just kind of go there then. Um, elections. Okay, so here we go. The upcoming elections in 1936 are bound to be remarkable. The Prussian Republic houses many parties of all ideologies, and even every citizen can get their voices heard. Still, there are three parties that are taking the lead. The SPD, the Social Democratische Partei Deutschlands, is a social Demo democratic party led by Otto Wells. The DNVP, a Deutsch National Volkspartei, a National Conservative Party led by Alfred Hugenberg, and finally the DDP, a Deutsche Demokratische Partei, a Left Liberal Party led by Erich Koch-Wesser. Although the parties themselves have different policies for the state and the economy, they all share one policy. They share a German reunification. This marked the final election of Prussia and the first election of Germany. I mean, we're a conservative democratic. That sounds pretty okay to do. Liberal democratic. Guided democracy despotism. Let's just go with conservative. Golden, oh, golden century. That's interesting. And we also have Prussia military aristocracy. So it's not bad. Not great, but not bad. After the Luftwaffe, I guess we'll do new equipment, maybe. Uh, work in progress of the Marine. Uh, also work in progress, I guess. Um, organized protests. Not worth it. North Indian War. Alright. Lose a little bit of stability. Increases that. I don't want to lose any war support. Well, well, stability either, so. I guess we might as well do that too. Why not? We only have three research slots, so unfortunately, too. About 15 to 1 is not bad. It's not great, though. Live Alpha. Need more command power. Oh! Uh, dreams of Fan Germania. Or since the Napoleonic era, or wars. Germany has not been united under one nation. As the masses cry for the creation of a pan Germanic state, that we must fulfill a rule, nay, our duty to consolidate Germany and other German peoples under one nation. Okay. Sounds good to me. A confederacy. With much of the northern Germany under the Prussian influence, we can finally proclaim uh oh, the creation of the North German Confederation as stepping stone to eventual German unification. Uh, Revado is the Prussian military industrial complex? Sure. Oh, the coalition falls apart after an insult was allegedly thrown. But Kofan Schlacker chose an ally of the Reichstag coalition. More than half of the MPs have threatened to dissolve the alliance. What should we do? Call some favors? Let them go other uses, anyways. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like we probably should get ready for it. It says Mecklenburg will not be alive. Well, you're at the top for the attack, so. I'm going to assume we, we take out Mecklenburg? I, I don't know. I really have no idea. Oh, invade the remaining countries. Well, that'd be cool. After centuries of oppression, splintering, infighting, the top brass and people of Prussia and Greater Germania now believe that unification is within their grasp. They're, Doing the following decisions will prevent or progress the unification with each of the countries neighboring Prussia. There goes abs. Oh. Find the Danzig Research Group. Oh, you get research slot. And the Prussian Academy of Sciences. Another research slot. Bosnia. Oh, well. Who is it? Oh, come on, Carl. Ah, Carl. Uh, some uh, depressed guy named Engelbert Dolphus. Hmm, never heard of him before. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to go this way then. Also, this is on historical, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, Revitalized German steel. As our economy was liberalized, we began relying on the import of steel from other nations. Many steel companies went bankrupt, and even more hardworking Germans went unemployed. But it's time to kickstart the German steel industry and bring it back to the glory days. International Aviation Exhibition. Look at that. The Prussian Eagle stands above all. Nice. A few more divisions. Cool. Mm -hmm. Military belt decreases us oh, so ten percent. Purchase weapons so really lose a, lose a hundred. Wow, and you don't get anything out of it too much. War support plus one percent war support. That's mm, industrial subsidies. You lose the political power in that. You get a saving there. That's not bad. Berlin Road is not terrible. That's not too bad too. I can now make a stimulus package. The Prussian economy is stimulated. Well, I like being stimulated to raise minimum wage. Wow, that's a lot of stability in war sport. That's not bad, yeah, that's actually really good. Path of citizenship. Uh, that's not terrible. Losing recruiting standards. 
That's a good, decent amount of manpower, especially for like us. Constitutional reform. Weekly stability minus four percent. Holy crap! Well, I like how fast the mod moves, at least. What again do here? Um, after that, what else can we do? It's not bad. Probably that Kaiser Vaca. Oh, we need a DDP victory. Oh, whoops. Oh, is this... Okay, so we can do this one then. No, that sucks. Well, established national Kaiser Vaca. Steel industries it must be owned and run by the national government to produce the most steel. Invest in miles of factories? Sure, why not? Um, I guess we're going to go there and... Uh, Get the boss of both worlds, I guess. Why not? Only 37%, huh? Kinda sucks. I hope I can get into some other wars. I don't wanna I don't wanna get into some wars or something. Strength of iron. Huh. Expand Silesian iron mines, Bavarian steel to Kaiserwerke. Rhine steel to Kaiserwerke. Deutsche Stahl über alles. Because we can expand local military production eventually and sell licenses. Yeah. Oh, we didn't go. Oh, we didn't have to do that. We just go straight to war economy. Expand Städten dockyards. Enhance Kaiser Marine buildup. Focus on sub bases and uh, prepare uh, surface fleet preparations. Oh, do we have anything else here? Oh, it's back. I'll we'll probably do this one. Oh, uh oh. Park Brawl legislation, that's what we want. Consolidate power. Our, yeah, we're looking actually pretty decent overall. So, when, do we, when can we beat people up? I want to beat people up. Who's going to go with Russia? And Poland's like kind of thick. Mikhail, no error, huh? Stanislaw. Slaw. Oh, that guy went to Turkey? What the? Barnacles? Who owns this? The French Empire owned. Farouk. Farouk. Yep. Yeah. I guess we're doing that too. There you go. Might as well. Romania. Oh, what the heck? Sheikdom of Kuzistan, huh? Well then. A little ahead of time. Grab some of these. Tank wise, uh, we're doing okay on tanks. Plane wise, how are we doing? Yeah, I'll we'll give you some of that. Tibet. Huh. The British Raj still exists. Oh, we have the Heavenly. Oh, God. We have the Heavenly Kingdom. And we have the Empire of China. Allies in the Reichsrat. Surprising turn of events. The constituency, normally loyal to the opposition, is turning in our favor. And Korea, too. Um, the influence of these representatives within Iraq oh, is quite large. The only question is, do we allow them into our coalition? We're fine without them. Buy them in, why not? Empire Japan, too. Divided army, of course, pretty normal. Oh, corrupt House of Lords, that's not good for them. Non existence tariff authority. Holy cow. Oof. 49%, that's not bad. Create steel monopolies. As the steel works are completely owned by the state, we can safely say that we have monopolized Prussian steel. Well, okay. Lobby them. Give a speech? Yeah, we can probably give a speech. Lindrum Mitchell killed in a bar fight. Well, okay. Sorry, that sucks for you, man. Got a lot of small little Prussian states. Junta Civil War. Who are the barnacles of Poi Ice? Rudolph's land? Carl the first? What the heck? Swedish. Oh. This is disgusting. What the heck happened up here? Republic of Canada. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my America. They're a bunch, love by a bunch of, uh... Theodore Roosevelt the third. Prohibition. Native American po policy. Big business. Wow, construction piece sucks. Look at the progressive years. Lost generation. 
Whites only. Bubba Canadia. Oh, I should have realized it was Central America. Oh, I've got a lot of options here now. Is there anything you do? Is there anything good that you want to do when you stimulate the economy? Uh, this stuff seems okay. I don't mind trying. Oh, wait. French Black is Chancellor. Um. Military buildup isn't necessarily a bad thing either. I kind of want to do constitutional reform. Just see where that goes first, maybe. Uh. Raise minimum wage. I mean, in the end, you get a lot of stability in war sport, which is actually really decent. You get a lot. A hundred. Some odd political power. That's still on first. No, but we lose 15%. I want to get more support first. Look at the next ride. You got three percent. I'll do it. Just see how how high we can get it. Survivability stays is nice. That's all I had time. Uh, ship stuff, I guess. Well, can I just kill these guys off? No, we need world tension. Um, the Young Republic, the two vultures. The dream of United Germany. Well, I mean, we would all like that, but still. Probably create the Albert next. Yeah, it's only 35 days. Install Canaris. Create the OKH. Oh, OK. Yeah, OK. Oh, wait. We wanted to help these guys out, didn't we? My bad. No, we can't help them. Come on. Scandinavian model. A bunch of despotists. Huh. Swedish Civil War, oh god. King Harold. James in attache. We need 30 divisions. Oh crud. Poop them out then. Poop them out. Oh, okay, here we go. Swedish Civil War. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, we go to war with them. Okay. Oh! I didn't know about this. My bad. Oh, we just go to war with them anyways. Okay, interesting. I well, apologize for not knowing that earlier. Um, we're stra straining? We're training here. No, somewhere. There you go. Um, you do that and then... See what you can do. Oh, we just occupied it anyways. Well... Alright, Prussian intervention. Um, occupied territories, civilian oversight, local autonomy, would be nice. Cavalry brigades. Oh, where were these guys too? Uh, sure, yeah. Fuel, Azerbaijan. Scandal. A minor rumor within the parliament has been exposed to the truth that it holds. While the defendant, of course, denies the rumors that he is in fact trying to seduce the MP's spouse, the uproar is still enormous. The damage just causes it. What causes it? Oh, God. Do damage control. All right, we'll create the Albert, I guess. You know. To Malmo. Why not? Armor? Sure, why not? Can we actually get an armor person here? No? Okay. Heinz, please. Careful, it's nice. Happy 1937, everybody. Armor. I'm thinking about super heavy heavy battleships, but you know. We'll see, I guess. Alright, well they capitulated. Uh can I have this? Oh. 
probably do this one too. Invade the remaining countries, huh? Well, come on down here, y'all. We have some infantry. Let's see what they're able up to do. Um, Carl's, Carl's Corona. Karl Mars next. We have force attack and force attack. This is half cost though. Seven days, 20, 25%, 20, 25, 25, 25% for more offense. Less, 100% less taken damage. Strength damage will take in 60%. Force power reduction on damage, 20%, versus 20%. Cannot move, okay, interesting. Well then, good to know. Hope I won't regret not taking that. Uh, create install Canaris? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's see what we can do. Throw it into here, huh? Well, the booties are exposed, so... Hopefully, in return, we get a little talk, because we really like that. Hey, four threes are stopped. Beautiful. Yay, we won! Ah, looks like we did get it. Look at that. Look at him. We install Canaris. And now, we can have a confederacy. With much of Northern Prussia, or Northern Germany under Prussian influence, we can finally proclaim the Christian North German Confederation. We're stepping soon to that eventual German unification. Our German rival, the betraying brother, the silent half brother, taking care of Bavaria. Well, I guess I we'll have to keep waiting. Sell licenses or prepare the war economy to protocols. Which wouldn't be bad either. Hey, look at that. Uh, let's just get him first. At least we we'll get some sort of uh, bonus here. At least we went to war already. That's nice. I like going to war. Well, when, when, I'm, when I'm ready. Why can't we take this one? Christian the North German Confederation. Nice. German shall be united. The Prussian government announced this morning that it has formed the North German Confederation. The Kingdom of Prussia, which has recently unified the north of Germany, saw the formation of the Confederation as a natural step towards the unification of all Germans. The various regions of Mecklenburg, Saxony, and Hanover will all have various levels of autonomy. The event marks the erosion of French domination over the German people. Germany shall be united. No matter what. At least let's hope so. Do we have any tanks? Are we not making. We're using tanks, but we're not making any tanks. That's a big old mistake. Improve light tanks. Um, like the armor. Honestly, you don't have to choose any of these. So we're not going to. Plant belt armor, nice. Like big battleships, and I cannot lie. Like a Mel Grande. It's more already anti air support commits, not bad. Well, I'm just ready for the next war. Because for this one, you can't do anything up here, can you? So we have to do, wait for this one. Bon voyage, Trut now. At peace. Leaves Continental Alliance. He dies. Wow. A rationalized Trut now. German sympathizer. Good, 1939. Wow, that's a while. We gotta build ourselves up as much as possible then. Talks with the workers. 
A former socialist and a revolutionary Jacobinist. Fake his death. Oh, he still dies. Strike now. Country in chaos. Sardinian revolt. Oh. That's nice. Still two at a time. Not that at a time. You lose a lot of political power weekly. Stability and war support, but... That just destroys everything you have. Just... Oh, God. Well, let's at least do that for now. Can I say you want? Yeah, I could if I really wanted to. Just to piss off the French. Yeah, okay. Oh, they do have planes. Okay. Never mind. It became. Oh, Italy's divided too. Naples. I love Naples. Umberto. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, Benito. I kind of want to do this one just to see what would happen. Um. So. Yeah. Enhance guys of money to build up. Focus on these guys. These guys. Strength of iron. Oh, it's upper Saxony. Apparently, there's going to be an oil crisis. What is this? Do you know? The Enigma. Oh. Oh, no, I don't know. No, we're still trying to build ourselves up no matter what. Construction twos are nice. Fuel would be nice. Um, after that, I guess we'll do the radar stations. Of course, create the OKH, the modern art of war, call to speed, undertake the stormtroopers, which would be nice. Maybe some ancient generals, aid in the war, perhaps. Maybe keep the skies clear and maybe get the marines. The Hoxie Flota, which I do kind of like. Rely on the subs, which we are going that way, but treaties with Ber Berlin. Britain. Britain is a dominant mass of the seas. It's important for us to cooperate with them. Us or dreams of good Prussian Navy go to waste. Exercise together, meet with the king. That's kind of cool. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So now, apparently, uh, I think Saxony has got a couple of Jacobins in there. That's not good. So we're going to go to war with them, gain control of Saxon and Upper Saxony. And we go to war with Central Germany. Oh. Well, I mean, guess it already is Central Germany. Willy Musenbeck. Revolutionary Jacobins, eh? They have a shattered arm, so that should be relatively easy. Oh, oh they have attrition. Okay. Well, um... We found a few enemy divisions. They have up to 11. Why are you spilling so much German blood? Why? And there goes Central Germany. All right then. Back to training. Um, what is this? Oh, look at this. Yes, absolutely. So we're in constitutional reform. We've destroyed our civilian war support. Just to see what would happen. Is this worth it? Honestly, probably not. No, not at all. But you know what? We'll try. Well, they're taking care of Bavaria. Bavaria is a classic example of why German unification is necessary. While they may have good relations with their Western German neighbors, they're constantly inviting a new stabilizing element that we can provide. Ooh. Yes, please. Talking with App. App is a pan German hot. If we are smart enough to take advantage of the sympathy, we can more easily absorb Bavaria into the realm. Weekly manpower plus a thousand. That's pretty decent, not gonna lie. So at this point, we're definitely gonna need some more political power and stability and worse. Oh my god, it destroyed us. Oh, it's still destroying us. Oh my god. But if its research slot is quite good. Oh, we're gonna take care of you, Bavaria. We'll definitely take care of you. After talking with that, contact the underground. As extra leverage, we can support revolutionary groups so that the Bavarian government can beg for support, which we, of course, naturally obliged to. Uh, I love funneling enemies within our enemy's state. So right now, Continental Alliance has all of, like, Western Germany under the rule. Bavaria needs to fall, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, we actually have another tank division. Not saying it's any good, but we have another... Tank division! Because honestly, the tank division that we have is not very good. Ah! Work of the Reichsrat? Sure. Sure. I don't really want to learn my war sport anymore or stability, but whatever. 
the integration. Once the Taros work has proven that Bavaria needs to be part of us to be for it to be prosperous. Franz von Epp is happy to hand his sovereignty over so that Germany can rise together. Or all Germans can. Something like that. Okay. And over to my country to you? Yes. Absolutely. And in the meantime, Panzer Divisions. That's a decent division, it's not great. We're gonna at least make it 18 count with at the very least. Do we have any tanks? Mm, we have that many, no. Actually, we're making quite a few of that. Mm, probably need more of this than anything else. Um, basic small airframes, we need more casts. Go down to five for now. Observation's good. Yes, yes. A Bavarian Union! All the pieces are set. The Bavarians are prepared to fully integrate themselves into Germany, of course. We would just integrate them while leaving them to sort themselves out, making them an autonomous state under Germany's wall. Let them rule themselves. God, no. Showing us coup. Uh-oh. Sweet taste of victory is almost within our grasp. It seems like we almost managed to integrate Bavaria like our other neighbors, but the monster in the uniform has stopped us. As Epp found it increasingly attractive to join our federation, there's a plot going on. Bavaria is known for having very great generals, very, very talented generals. The very best generals that have been conspiring, see, they enjoyed not being part of the North German army. They enjoyed their autonomy. So when Epp was drawn closer to us, they had to stop him. Epp was forced into retirement. Now the question of who was to succeed him came. There are various contenders. Franz Halder, Eduard Dietl, Georg von Klusche, but one man rose above as a king of the hill. Ferdinand Schoner, the butcher himself, you know, now rules the country to protect it. The unification of Germany must stop, for us. this chain has no breaks. So the kings will go straight to war, then the devil has struck Bavaria. Ah, Shona. Always a plotting schemer. God dang devil. <sighs> Not my Bavaria. You are finding out, God, yes. Even though we're really good on fuel right now. We need more ships. We need to focus more on ship stuff, too. Way up, here we go. The Bavarian War. Shona needs a leash. Shona. Von Seisser. Why you spell German blood, I do not understand. Italian. Oh. Well, hello, Kingdom of Italy. The Babanitor. Famous for his suit at all. Raiders, nice. Oh, they're actually force defensing it, huh? The art of modern war. Radio statistics? Radio stations, yes. I hope we can break through. Seventeen thousand versus forty-three thousand. Oh boy! I mean, they're definitely paying a hefty, 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 hefty price for this. So we should be able to bust through here, and then we should be able to bust through everywhere else. Oh yeah, they've actually lost. Oh my! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Hold the speed, sure. We've lost what? 32,000 versus 74,000? Well, that helped out a little bit, I guess. The rubber processing, yes. Um. Hindustan wins the North Indian War. Well, good for them. Sin is gone. Oh, that just destroyed that division. Uh, go with attack, maybe? If yeah, we can get Nuremberg, that's all we really need, because it's a supply hub. And without supply, we're kind of screwed. Maintenance for tanks? Four. Cult of speed under. Update the stormtroopers, yeah. Definitely. Um, there we go. We broke through. We lost 50,000 versus 128,000. Look at all the blood they've spilled. <laughs> and Nuremberg is completely surrounded. Well, they tried. They did have some good generals, but mostly the train that was fighting us. That was insane. We literally killed off every single division. My god. 
What a waste of blood. For what in the end? I ask you for what? Do I have to members of the parliament? Probably not. Well. Back up there then. Sure. And we'll go with that one too. Alright. Political power. Oh, let's stimulate. Let's see what happens. I don't know if, if stimulating anything here is good and all, but. The silent half brother. Taking care of the smaller states on the French border is essential. Talk to the people. Rio broadcast speech is all in this attempt to rally the people for pan Germanism. A greater compromise. Send the government a deal they can't refuse. And another union. Now we have the ability to integrate Württemberg. Integrate Württemberg. If the people cry out for unification, the stage is set. Well, we can just integrate them fully and annex them. We can let them have a little time as well. What should we do? Annex them. Ah, oh, beautiful, my friends. And with that in mind, that's 16 combat width, which is... Oh, God. Oh, they're not, they're not here, so... Um, there you go. Have fun. And convert to normal good old infantry. Uh, we could have listened to recruiting standards, but, you know, we're still investing in Berlin Road to see what that's like. Industrial subsidies, you get another civvy, which is not bad, but I don't want to decrease support. Uh, do that one. A little more support one. I don't know how much support we're actually really going to need in the end, so... Might as well increase it. As we're doing some more new equipment, of course. But then, uh, the train brother. Uh, Baden may be more difficult to convince. They're currently under the French shield, and it'll take some effort to really convince them to join us. But anything worthwhile is worth doing. Um, who do we have here? Von Weichs, Rommel, Leo Gaia von Schleppenberg. Blaskiewicz! Yes, yes. New equipment. Well, we'll see what we can do next. More naval stuff, of course. Million down there? No. Well, we could go to war them eventually, all of them. Probably have to do that. Fake it until we make it. That sounds like my life. Exude an aura of pleasantness, and they'll be believe anything. At least the French will. Well, this thousand manpower, which is fine. This war sport. Get, oh, it gets more war sport actually. Uh, sure, tank stuff. Yes. Why not? Light tanks. We need more. So we'll make more. We need more rubber, of course, too. Should probably get some uh, medium tanks too. Ooh. And we're starting to make some destroyers as well. German arrival. Oh, it's after June 1st. Well, we'll get that one too. Westphalia is the greatest enemy we have yet to face. The Rhine Valley is mostly under the control, but more importantly, they are under French tyranny. We must begin a remedy this trap scene beginning at Germany once for all. Or another betrayal. Secret operatives within Baden are ready to strike politically at the French and declare their loyalty to the Vaterland. Okay, well, cool. I'll do that too. Nice. Oh, another betrayal. Train your butts off. Uh, lose stability. We get some more support. Raise minimum wage. Honestly, you get get some pretty good stuff here. We'll do it. Why not? Another destroyer? Oh boy, we're going to be pooping out quite a few destroyers here then. Uh, here, do that one too. Will it work? Tell our political agents to execute the plan and march in the troops. Bottom's not really all that big, too. Construction, extraction. Bertold II, Will Joseph V, underdeveloped economy, French financial ties, Confederation of the Rhine. All right, well, so be it. Get that feel, boys. Australian tension spike with double three ends in tension. Cool. Another tonk. And we're getting Baden. Baden is set for unification. We have spent months preparing for this. Shall we directly annex him to Deutschland? Or shall rule himself? Self-rule opens up a lot of economic opportunities for that region, but direct annexation gives them military advantage. Like heck, we'll let them rule themselves. What are we, monkeys? Of course not. What is this? 15 combo width? Not ideal. We have standards here in Prussia. And standards that we will abide by. You get 1% war score. That's worth it. Uh, Rhine Metal. Mauser. Well, I guess technically we wanted to go with what way around here? New and exciting. Porsche and Dalma Benz. Achtung Panzer, eh? 
But after this one, uh, I'm not sure. At peace. Our German rival. Bon voyage. Rationalize him. Fake his death. Capturing chaos. Talk with the workers. Well, I don't want to talk with the workers. Rationalize them. Instead of killing him, we convince Tretner that it is in his best interest to allow for German unification. There you go. Messer Schmidt. I always do Messer Schmidt. And for good reason, too. Junkers, we're doing them. <clears throat> Germania Veft. Not bad. More armor attack. I don't want to lower our deck size or heart attack, so. You're up for the job, and we have Porsche. So then, fake his death. Inviting Tretner to Germany, and then faking his death will create chaos and Vestphalia. This will only work to our advantage, of course. Nothing bad will ever happen like that. Of course not, never. And the Chinese Union goes bye bye. Better guns, yes. We're gonna get more tanks here. Uh, we need some medium tanks too. That'd be ideal. Fake that death. A country chaos. As Vestphalia burns, the people cry for someone to step in. The French are too busy, but we are ready. Let us occupy Vestphalia and unite Germany. Hopefully, we can do that. Cast is standing by, that's good. Naval bombers, well, I'll just send you up here real quick, anyways. There we go. That's alright, there you go. Have fun! Alrighty, Tighty. And with the tanks here, throw on the. Oh, money at the That's not bad, actually. Because that tier is actually really good for you. Second, Rostand. Okay, liberation is nigh. Okay. That tier is really good overall because it does give you what? It gives you a little tiny bit of defense, soft attack, gives you a heart, heart attack, and piercing, which is good. Cheap piercing. It lowers your organization, though. Oh. Oh. No, I don't care. Goodbye. Yay. A country chaos. What's up? We're assembly the Red of Rural Army. Oh! Continentalized Sharon. Charlotte. Ah, Oldenburg. Modern French influence, outdated army. Well, actually, they might attack us first, maybe. Do we have resistance? We don't have the core. That's weird. Okay, hold on. Do you have speech? Sure. Oh! Okay, so then they actually go to war with us. They all straight up just go to war. Oh, that's not good. Three your house for Germany. Well, united. It requires constitutional reform. Um, Germans everywhere has been united. As Paris burns, the German people rise up like a phoenix ready to send to greatness. All hail the Vaterland. Uh, I don't know if we're really ready to take on... Yeah, I don't know if we're really, really ready to take them on, so... Um, the strength of iron? Iron is the fuel of the industrial bees and Germany's full of it? Yeah, I might want to double check and go back and do some of this just because we're not really ready yet. Um, honestly, we're probably going to need to build ourselves up a little bit more before we do anything like that, so I think I might end it here and maybe go back and maybe redo some things, because I don't think we're really there yet to go to war with the French. I have a lot of divisions. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see what else we can do with the, uh, Gates of Versailles mod. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.